With the second series and second snap, this time he does give it to Lamar Miller, and there's nothing there, just a yard. He's got second and ten. Going to hand it off. And nowhere to go because Lawrence Guy was waiting for Miller, along with Flowers. Quarterback Gilmore on Hopkins at the top. Watch it in trouble, and he's still not down. Now he is back at the 25. A lot of traffic in the pocket. And Flowers able to get to him for a loss of seven. So watch this. The safety comes into double team right here. You see in and out. They call that bracket. You got in, you got the other side in. And Watson looking to run. And Trey Flowers keeps contained. Pushes that upfield shoulder, comes underneath the tackle. Nowhere to run for Watson. Pushing. Empty backfield first down. Watson didn't get rid of it, and a flag is out. It was Flowers to get to him first. Hopkins one-on-one, -on -one, bottom of the screen. He's looking that way. Now he's wanting to take off. And Watson, that was not a pretty play at all for Houston. All these years. And he was given a new three-year contract after the postseason. Quick pass, getting the ball in the hands of Westbrook. And look at the ball come out. Down to the 30 with it is Chark. DJ Chark Jr. Going to net 11 yards for the Jags. So well, on. you see, you see Gilmore get in. Then here comes late Flowers. That ball is out for sure. One hot pickup, Chark. Look at look at that perfect technique. That punch right through the ball by Trey Flowers, who's been playing fantastic football over the last year and into this year. A minor hamstring. First down from the 15. Yeldon looking for any kind of crease. Perfect. First action for Osweiler is a Miami quarterback. There goes Gore and second down and eight and submarines to about the 32. Instead he got the loss. Handoff is to Hines and Naheem Hines on first down gets four. Locke is swallowed up. Patrick Chung and he wasn't alone. Trey Flowers was in there as well and a loss of nine. Well, it looks like Naheem Hines is the guy responsible for the blitzer off the edge, Patrick Chung, and, you know, he wasn't the only one there. There was a bunch of guys, and Andrew Luck. They have more than seven that aren't available <laughs> I was just here tonight. Say, that's right. Here's Hines, and he's wrapped up short of the first down by a yard. And off is to Hines. Hard line. Handoff goes to Kareem Hunt. They needed one, and they get about two and a half to move the chains. First and goal. Hunt again. Picks up three. On second and goal. Rolling out and throwing, and that's caught by the fullback, Anthony Sherman. Had a big game last week. Trey Flowers makes the tackle. And third down and goal coming up. That's what they do on offensive and defensive lines. First and 20. Ware takes the pass in the flat. Mahomes from the 43. Again, extending, going the other way. This time he's going to keep it, trying to get out of bounds. And he does, despite Flowers tugging on his shirt. Second and six. Hunt again. Harder in three yards. Trey Flowers trips him up. Injuries on the defensive side. Right now you got Mahomes. Double fake, throws to Hunt, and he gets blasted a yard behind the line of scrimmage by Flowers and Hightower. On the third and seven, blitz coming. Mahomes off his back foot, deep downfield, and almost intercepted. That's Jason McCourty. First down. Howard in the backfield, they give it to him. Tariq Cohen in the backfield for Trubisky. Pressure, knocked down. Trey Flowers circling towards the QB. And there's still room for growth. On second down, give it to Cohen. Now this time Cohen runs inside. The stretch for him. Here's McCoy again. Look at the way he's holding that ball as he's tackled for a loss again. That was a great looking play by Trey Flowers who has been so active.
from that defensive end position. For yeah, the pass. And, and when you talk about their guys up front, Trey Flowers is probably their most productive defensive lineman. Does a really nice job fighting off the block against Clay one on one. Now it takes down Shady McCord. Just look at that technique and fundamentals. I'll come inside. He's in that six technique. He's got the inside gap. Really nice job of pressing the tight end and playing inside. Second and 13. Anderson batted at the line of scrimmage, and that was Flowers again. It's tricky for Shady in that situation because he's trying to make some plays and that Wildcat and understanding. And then you're going to see here Flowers. They try to get a quick cut block. Getting his hands up there really probably should have picked that one. But <laughs> their awareness. I mean, big defensive ends understanding that the tackles come to cut block them. To avoid that cut and get their arms up. <laughs> here's, here's a problem when the tackle's lying flat <laughs> on the ground and the defensive end is standing up after you attempt a cut block. Now the guys loved it. Here's McCoy trying to bounce it. And it's finally taken down by Flowers. Second and ten, Ivory. As he gets past the initial would-be tackler of Danny Shelton and goes ahead for six. Like non-conventional formations and sets. And here they go with McCoy. Side. Wow, Flowers, what a play. Trey Flowers, tackle for loss. And he's their best defensive lineman. He's so fundamentally and technically sound. Trey Flowers from Arkansas. The ability to split the double team and then get inside. Logan Thomas, former quarterback back in the day at Virginia Tech. Not sure he's used to being that physical inside blocking <laughs> defensive ends with. Trust me, he's not. And, you know, they had the double team. They, when they bring that receiver down, it's just ding, ding, ding for these defensive ends. They know that it's going to be that inside zone. He is. He's a talented guy to be that big and that athletic. But on the ground again, Williams. Jordan also helped us along the way. You got Jamal Williams here for a gain of seven. That's from the seven to the outside. Pass is caught there by Mercedes Lewis. Rogers pressured. Down he goes. Flowers, the first guy in there. Claiborne second. First sack of the night of Aaron Rodgers. Look out. Rogers escapes this time and then runs for a short gain. Something special could happen. Second and goal. A run for Lewis. He's got nowhere to go. Patrick Chung sniffed it out. Deion Lewis on a four year, $20 million deal with Tennessee coming over from the Patriots. Nice jump cut by Lewis. First and 10 for Tennessee. First possession of the second half for the Titans. Deion Lewis. 10 minutes to play. Toss it to Henry. Bulldozes across the 35 from directions. Matt Barkley was a good example of that, the way he played. McCown airing it out, and that one's way over the head of Curse. Is the single setback. McCown, a deep drop. McCown looks, he flips it to Crowell. Second quarter. 118 to go here in the third. Crowell. Nice decision by Crowell. 27. Back to Ian. All right, guys, McCown in some trouble, and McCown is slammed down by Flowers. A sack at the 45. Now Flowers now picks up his third and a half sack on the year, and this one he gets his money's worth. He gets to spin with his teammates. His communication is so efficient, as Darnold put it. McCown will throw it away. Cousins is sacked. Trey Flowers. Murray gets it and is stood up. Guy was in there for the Patriots. Trey Flowers as well. Well, that's true. That, that part has been stated. Tannehill has time. Tannehill uncorks a deep one. Kenny still spills out for the grab. Jason McCourty over there. The concentration of stills to haul it in. Tannehill held this ball for an eternity, had faith in his protection, and then lets it go after taking a big hit there. 
Tannehill. A wobbler. He got hit. And it's incomplete. Dante Hightower came firing through. Now this is the answer to the uh, five wide receiver set blitz. Both Flowers and Hightower there into a kickable area. Tannehill brought down. He tried to spin away. Could not. Ryan Tannehill got chopped down. That was his own teammate that chopped him down. And Tannehill's shaken up. Watch his feet here. One of his offensive linemen is going to step back right yep. on that Oof. right ankle. Turn the ankle. Signed a huge deal with Houston. And then spent just one year. He gets dumped. They pin their ears back and attack Osweiler with Adrian Claiborne. Another third down sack by this New England defense. Simon gets there to provide initial penetration. Also, Trey Flowers, so 96 yards and a touchdown. Handoff to Frank Gore, bulldozing up the middle. And that ball came out. A fumble by Gore. They're going to have to peel off this pile. Gore indicating that his teammate got it at the bottom. That's Gore's first fumble of the year. And luckily for him, the officials have deemed it uh, Dolphin Ball. Looks like Flowers is going to punch it out with oh. that right hand. Literally. Perfect fist. Jab right down on the ball. That's just a heads-up defensive play by Trey Flowers. This is the last three weeks. It'd be a different record. Here's a handoff to Switzer. This is the... This is a rather Keith Ford and Keith Ford backfield. This is Ford to about the 30. Second and five, it's Ford again and Ford another drive. This is the Sean McCoy and McCoy run out of bounds at the 30 yard line. Now, McCoy. Put the bet a long time ago, losing more than two in a row. This is Keith Ford. And Ford. A fluke accident in the weight room. Give it to McGuire. There's nothing there. A play of the drive for New York. The give is to McGuire. He has nowhere to go. Tried to cut it back. Picks up a yard. Trey Flowers, who continues to play at a high level for New England, makes the stop. First, and they put on a touchdown on the board first here this afternoon. A give to McGuire. He loses the ball. Scooped up by McCourty. Finally wrestled down inside the 10. Devin McCourty on the recovery. Costly mistake by New York. Second fumble recovery of the season for McCourty. McGuire just searching for a hole here. Gets the ball punched out by Trey Flowers. And then the uh, convoy, the rugby play, gets McCourty all the way inside the 10 yard line with just a little bit of help from his friends. Third force fumble of the season for Trey Flowers. And actually, they have McCourty off the ground, it appears carrying him all the way down the field. Poor with Anderson along with the rookie tight end Herndon. Darnold on third and two. He is dumped by Flowers. Trey Flowers. Proper balance on offense. Pitch it. McGuire on third and 17. <laughs> yeah, I wear that for basketball season, not football season. McGuire is hit by Trey Flowers. Chargers who went 12 and 4 regular season. Rivers pounded back at the 12 by Flowers. He's been saying all year one of the most underrated in the NFL is this guy right here, Flowers, Tony. Goes up the field, makes you feel like he's going to rush right there, and then it's a twist where he goes around, and he really is a complete defensive end on a lot of these plays. He's third and nine with pressure. Again, they're going after him. Could take him out of field goal range. All the way back at the 37, Trey Flowers. You see the internal pressure staple over and over again. 
Trey Flowers comes from the outside, but it's really the pressure inside that makes Mahomes have to flush the pocket. And he did take him out of field goal range. They're bringing Colquitt out. Sure some things up here in the second half. And here's handoff up the middle. Thank you, Tracy. And Williams twisted around two yards short of the first. Third and two on the way as Trey Flowers who tackled him. He had a sack in that first half as well. Here's Goff. First snap for the Rams. It's a running play. And flying out to about the 30 is number 30, Todd Gurley. Now he's got to hand the ball off. Gives it to Gurley, and that loses a yard. Van Noy was there standing his ground, allowing Trey Flowers to finish it off. And you see how they're all going vertical? You see how he shot the gap? He didn't run, they're not running sideways. That's where all the teams get in trouble against the Rams. When you look back at this tape, you're gonna find they controlled the line of scrimmage by going straight downhill. The longest of the game for the Rams, it went for 19. It's Gurley. And they are on him quickly after one.